Hey, I'm WhoEven, and this video will run through my Deep Rock Galactic game settings and mod presets. Oh, that's a lot of Mag Terra there. Instant. Here are my graphics settings. If you want to see my system specs, I've put them in the description. Please note that my FOV has been set to 130 and the game user settings.ini file. This can be found at the directory on screen. The better post processing settings I use are here. Note that the bloom is set to 0.1 so that it's there, just very low. If you want to use better post-processing and are new to modding, I would advise installing the community-created mod integration tool. Roughly a month ago I switched from the official mod support implementation to mod integration because you can install more than 50 mods, your mods won't randomly uninstall, it prevents joiners from being stuck in the mod loading page, and overall it seems to improve game performance and latency for clients. The download and setup instructions link is in the description for those interested. While running mod integration, your game will appear in the normal section of the lobby browser, but it will automatically add a label saying modded to your server name. You will need a number of frameworks to get other mods to work, so I suggest installing the following if you want to hit all the bases. These are DRG Lib, Custom Vanity Framework, LB's Base Kit, Miracle Mod Manager, and Mod Hub. Once in game, you'll be unable to see the in-game modding menu, but when using the Mod Hub on the Mod Integration tab, you will see all the mods that you're currently running. Note that as a joiner, you can see what the host is running also. Here are my mods for your viewing pleasure. The full list of links will also be in the description. Next we have the difficulty and gameplay mod setup. Recently I've started using mods that reduces content from the seasons. These two mods remove the season events from missions, Additionally, I have installed a mod that removes the lithophage affected areas on the planet scanner. The November maintenance patch has promised us a cure to the rock pox fatigue, but just in case it isn't enough, these mods help alleviate cave bloat by bringing down the number of events that can clutter a mission. I have also started to use the assignment reroller mod to reroll an assignment mission if it's a sabotage or double stop escort and I don't particularly feel like doing it next. Note that in order to re-roll a mission, you will need Mirror Coin, which costs Phase Unite or a combination of credits and minerals. You can get Mirror Coin from the Bible Missions Terminal mod, which also lets you generate your own custom missions. Yes, even Double Swarmageddon. The mod I use to increase my difficulty is Custom Difficulty. I've been using it for a few years now and it's a great way to easily switch between modded difficulties. To use it, simply copy and paste one of the JSON configs from the GitHub repository linked in the description and press save. This should then replace Hazard 5 with the new difficulty. The All Dives Hazard 5 mod will in turn make all dive stages whatever difficulty you have now set to replace Hazard 5. Thank you for watching. I hope you've gained some useful information, and if you'd like to see more videos about how to play Modded Deep Rock Galactic, please subscribe.